channel. Today I've got another new video for you. So today's video is on how to hide your pores. Now trust me when I say I know how to hide pores as best you possibly can because I myself have huge pores. So you're not getting this information from some beautiful girl with flawless skin, poreless skin. No, I have pores and not only do I have pores, I have massive pores. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that by now. I have done a video similar to this like way, way, way ago, like one or two years ago, but it wasn't too in-depth and I don't think it really showed you how best to cover your pores because since then I've actually found one product that works in the world for me and a matching brush to go along with it. And by using those two products, I get the most poreless results that I possibly can for my skin and for my clients that have big pores as well. So keep on watching if you wanna see my super simple technique to make your pores vanish in seconds. And I will link the products that I use in the description box down below for you in case you want them. I hope you guys find it helpful. Love you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. First of all, what I'm going to do is blot my face to get rid of any excess oil. If you do have large pores, you can also tend to have oily skin. So make sure to blot your skin to get rid of any excess oil before you start putting on makeup. The product I like to use to conceal my pores is the Bye Bye Redness Cream from IT Cosmetics. There's just something about the formula and the texture of this cream that really minimizes the look of pores. And as an added bonus, it also neutralizes any redness in the skin. I like to apply it with the IT Cosmetics Complexion Perfection brush, which is this one here. It's got one end for foundation and one end for concealing, and I'm going to be using the concealing end. I take the tiniest amount of the cream on the brush and dab it on any areas where my pores look extra large. Now this is where you have to pay attention, so you want to really, really gently, so gently, in circular movements up and down and sideways, work the cream into your pores. I know it sounds gross like it's going to give you blocked pores and pimples, but it's not going to as long as you wash your face properly at the end of the day when you're taking your makeup off, exfoliate and clean out your pores. The reason we want to very gently work the product into the pores is because once the pores are filled up with the same product that's on the surface of your skin, it makes them look flat. And once they look flat, they no longer look like little holes in your skin and then you don't see them as much. In theory, you can use any foundation or concealer for this, but some concealers tend to be very, very thick and heavy and will just make your skin look cakey. And some foundations just don't have the coverage to be able to conceal the pores. That's why I like to use the Bye Bye Redness Cream and then I apply my regular foundation on top of it once my pores are concealed. And by the way, considering this was filmed in HD and very, very close up, I am aware that I have peach fuzz and dry lips, but I'm a human, not a robot. Now what you have to do is set it in place with powder. So whilst the pores already look a lot better, I want to set it in place with powder to mattify the skin. When the skin is wet, it catches the light and it will highlight anything underneath it and that includes pores. So if you mattify the skin, the skin looks a lot flatter, smoother, and the pores are much more concealed. As you can see, I'm using a sponge to apply it because this is very gentle on the skin and we don't want to move any of the product that we've applied. For this, I'm using a translucent powder from IT Cosmetics. So here is the before and after. So hopefully you can see now on the left hand side, this is my face with no makeup and my pores look much bigger compared to the right hand side where I've just got the Bye Bye Redness and the powder. In real life, in my mirror, my pores looked almost non-existent. However, I did film this video in HD and I had it super, super close up so you could see everything in detail. So the pores do look a little bit worse in the video camera, but in real life, they've pretty much vanished completely. There we are guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you found that helpful. I know it's quick, but I did try and go in depth. So if you do have any other questions, just leave them down below and either I will help you or one of my subscribers, I'm sure will be able to help you. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, remember to give me a thumbs up because then I know you liked it and I'll do more like this. Subscribe to my channel for more in-depth makeup tutorials and let me know. And let me know if you guys have any makeup problems that you want me to address in depth in the comments down below. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.